Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so I'm going to be doing this into three part videos as well. I don't want to make a 39, 90 minute long video. Um, so my first video, I did the European leagues for my favorite players. Uh, I did three subcategories into uh, defensemen, uh, goalies, and forwards. And the three overall categories were um, European leagues, uh, retired players, and the current players um, in the NHL. Uh, so yeah, I previously did the European ones, like I said, and now I'll be doing the retired um, uh, category. So three goalies, eight defensemen, and 14 forwards, so kind of like a, a roster of a team. Uh, we'll get right into it. Number three for the goalies, um, Cristobal Huey. Uh, just an absolute stud. Uh, the only French player so far to win a Stanley Cup. Uh, I know Belmar came close this past year, um, but as it stands right now, he's the only French player to have his name engraved on the Stanley Cup, which he did with the Blackhawks in 2010. So number two is Jocelyn Thibault. Um, I really only remember him with Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Buffalo. I fell in love with him in Pittsburgh. Uh, at the time, they were still my favorite team. And I was super excited. I thought number 41 and his pads that he had in Pittsburgh, they were just so badass, I thought. Um, I liked his mask, too. I was disappointed when he went to Buffalo and couldn't wear a 30, or he had to wear a 35 because 41 was taken. Uh, I don't really remember him with Montreal and Quebec uh, or the Avalanche, but oh well. Uh, number one, though, another Pittsburgh Penguin, uh, Johan Hedberg. Might be my favorite goalie of all time. Uh, when he first broke in uh, with the blue mask that he had um, in that particular Pittsburgh jersey, I thought it just really contrasted each other so bizarrely that I absolutely loved it. Um, nicknamed the Moose, uh, because of the moose on his helmet, I guess. I think he played for the Moose as well. I don't know where the nickname actually came from, but he had a moose on his helmet, so I'm sure that played something into it. Uh, but I followed his career ever since Pittsburgh and then his last uh, couple seasons in New Jersey and everywhere in between. I absolutely loved him. Uh, like I said, he's probably my favorite goalie of all time. Moving on to the defenseman, uh, for the retired defenseman. Uh, n number eight, I have Dan Boyle. Um, I don't really remember him too much in Tampa Bay or anywhere before that. I know he was a Panther at some point. I think his rookie year he was a Panther. Mostly known for his time in San Jose and uh, San Jose and Tampa, um, I fell in love with him in San Jose. I thought he was one of their best defensemen. And when he became a New York Ranger, I was super excited and super happy to have him on the team. Uh, I wish he would have been able to win a cup with the Rangers. Didn't happen though. Number seven, Mark Streit, a uh, longtime Swiss defenseman, um, captain of the New York Islanders, uh, won a cup with Pittsburgh. Um, Long-time Montreal Canadian, uh, captain for a lot of the time with his Swiss team. Um, absolutely love Mark Streit and well-deserved retirement for him. Uh, number six, Lubomir Vishnovsky. I really liked him as a Los Angeles King and an Anaheim Duck. And at some point, I would like to get a jersey of his. Um, number six, uh, Alan McInnes. Uh, won a cup with the Calgary Flames. Probably a little bit more better known, I think, at least for me, uh, as part of the St. Louis Blues team. I don't really remember him as a flame at all. I don't even know if I was born when he still played here. But his slap shot is by far the best slap shot in the history of the NHL. Uh, I, you could argue with Chara, um, but I think McInnes is hands down the best slap shot ever. Um, and I do want to get the Blues jersey uh, from the 90s with Al McKennis on it. Number four, uh, Oilers fans are going to hate this pick, uh, Marc-Andre Bergeron. Um, I Bergeron was one of the only players on the Oilers that I liked, uh, along with UC Markkinen and Fernando Pisani. I was very happy when he left. I really liked him as a Montreal Canadian. I really liked him in Minnesota. Uh, he's briefly a duck. I really liked his time in Tampa. Um, he was part of the 2011 run that Tampa went on. And 
I don't really remember him as a Hurricane. I know that was probably, I think, his last stop. I know he had a tryout with Columbus a year ago, maybe. Uh, didn't make the team, um, and he's since retired. Um, definitely one of my favorite players, just because of how short he was. He's about my height. And for him to have such a great slap shot, uh, very, very underrated slap shot, very hard shot. His time in Montreal was probably his best uh, part of his career. And I really liked him. Just He's a bit of an, I don't want to say he's an inspiration just because of how short he was, but I kind of looked up to him. I mean, not, not literally because I was probably eye level with him if I would have met him, but I really liked him. Uh, number three, Sergei Gonchar. Um, probably my favorite Pittsburgh defenseman of all time. Uh, very happy he won a cup with them in 2009. Um, I know he was there as the coaching staff for the other couple past Stanley Cup wins. Uh, he was the one who kind of, um, helps Evgeny Malkin kind of get used to the North American game and, and lifestyle over here. And he's very, very underrated. I think he's one of the best defensemen of all time. Uh, I think he's probably the best Russian defenseman of all time. And I will definitely be getting a Sergei Gonchar jersey at some point. Um, I kind of honestly want his Capitals jersey as opposed to his Pittsburgh jersey. Uh, but yeah, Sergei Gonchar at number three. Number two, uh, Rob Blake. Um, it was a bit of a toss-up between him and number one. Uh, but Rob Blake is just one of the best all-around defensemen as well, all time. Um, I think he's probably in the top five all time, to be honest. Uh, his time with Colorado and with San Jose are the ones that stand out the most to me. I know he was probably a king for the longest uh, period of time, but his Stanley Cup win in 2001 um, and his chase of a Stanley Cup in San Jose were two of the things that I will always remember. And I wish he would have got one with the Sharks, but he didn't. Uh, number one, uh, Scott Niedermeyer. I hated him when he played for the Devils. Absolutely hated him. Um, just growing up as a Pittsburgh fan, I did like the Rangers. And he played for the team I hated the most. And he was, I thought, their best player. Uh, so it made it very easy to hate him. But as soon as he went to Anaheim, instantly started to like him. Uh, so much so that I do plan on getting a Niedermeyer jersey. I want the Ducks, uh, Mighty Ducks third jersey that had like the cursive writing and it was the black jersey. Um, I definitely really, really, really want that one. Uh, I was super sad when he retired and then he came back out of retirement along with Timo Solani to try to win another cup. Didn't happen, um, but he got a couple more years. He played fantastic in 2010 for the Team Canada at the Olympics in Vancouver. Uh, probably in the top three defensemen all time for me. Um, I never watched Bob Yor, but you can't not say Bob Yor is the greatest of all time. Nick Lidstrom, and then I'd say Scott Niedermeyer. Um, just one of the best skaters, one of the best passers all around I've ever seen. Um, an underrated shot, a sneaky defenseman, just reliable, and I can't say enough good things about him. Uh, so Scott Niedermeyer at number one for my retired defenseman. Moving on to the forwards. Alright, uh, so forwards. Um, for the retired forwards, I could have put probably a, a good solid 200 players here uh, that I liked. I've always been more favorite towards players than teams, and that's why kind of my favorite teams always are kind of changing, is if a player moves to a different team that I don't like, maybe I start liking that team a little bit more because of that certain player. Um, so I've always kind of been on the side of the player as opposed to the team. I know some people really like a player that's on their favorite team, and as soon as he leaves, they absolutely hate him. They think he's the worst player in the history of the NHL. Uh, for me, I usually always will stick with the player and follow them to whichever team they go to. Uh, so for that reason, honestly, I could have. There's been so many players that I've liked. Um, but we're going to start off at number 14, uh, Peter Forsberg. How he's this low, it just kind of goes to show how many players that I liked. I mean, Peter Forsberg is one of the greatest Swedish, I think he's probably the greatest Swedish player of all time. Uh, him or Nick, Nick Lidstrom. Um, 
but Forsberg for forwards, I don't think really can be argued. He's just, he's kind of a smaller guy, and he was one of the biggest power forwards out there. Uh, and absolutely incredible with the puck. His vision, his passing, his deking, uh, just out of this world at times. And I really wish his career wasn't shortened with injury, as I'm sure most of his fans and probably Peter Forsberg himself uh, wishes. But at some point, I'd definitely like to get a Forsberg jersey as well. Um, but moving on to number 13. Yeah, 13. Uh, Marty Straka. He's probably one of the biggest reasons I wear number 82 as my number. Um, I really, really, really liked uh, Marty Straka in Pittsburgh. I really liked him in L.A. And I really liked him as a Ranger. I don't really remember him as a Senator. I don't really remember him as a Panther. And anywhere else that I'm forgetting, uh, I don't really remember him there. It was L.A., Pittsburgh, and New York. Those are the teams I remember him with the most. Uh, yeah, he, him and Yarmir Yager were really good friends. I know he played a long time after he left the NHL uh, for the team that he actually owns in the Czech League. And he had a decent career. Uh, recently retired, uh, maybe not even three or four years ago. Uh, but yeah, I really like Marty Strack. I'm moving on. Number 12, though. Uh, another former LA King, another former Pittsburgh Penguin, and a former New York Not Ranger, uh, former Islander, Ziggy Palfy. Um, interesting fact, Ziggy Palfy got the primary assist on Mario Lemieux's final goal. Um, I always really liked Ziggy Palfy as a King, and I was super excited when he came over to Pittsburgh. Um, Played with Crosby in his rookie season. Uh, I was super, super happy, and I would love to see if I could try to find a Ziggy Palfy jersey for the Pittsburgh Penguins at some point. Uh, yeah, I didn't really like him as an Islander. I did not. I was not an Islanders fan then. Really, not an Islanders fan now. So, moving on to number ten. Oh, sorry, number eleven. Uh, just announced to the Hockey Hall of Fame, Marty Saint Louis. Um, not gonna lie, I didn't really like St. Louis up until probably about 2011. Um, that run that Tampa went on in 2011 when they made it to Game 7 of the Conference Final uh, is still one of my favorite playoff runs I've ever seen. And it, really ever since then I've really started to like St. Louis. Again, a really shorter player. Um, probably the best short player in the history of the NHL. He's like that much taller than me. And the guy is absolutely shredded, and his work ethic is unlike anyone else probably on this list. Uh, very well deserving of the Hall of Fame. I definitely want to get a St. Louis Rangers jersey. And I found his stick here actually in Calgary for sale, and I didn't buy it, and I'm kicking myself ever since. Uh, that yellow stick was just, just legendary. Um, moving on to number 10. Alex Kovalev, another former Penguin, another former Ranger. Uh, briefly time with the Senators, try to come back with the Panthers. Probably most well known for his time with the uh, Montreal Canadiens. Um, we were talking about how great St. Louis' work ethic was. Kind of the opposite could be said for Kovalev. Uh, but his skill uh, with the puck is probably right up there in the top two best of all time between him and Datsuk. Uh, the things that he can do with the puck are just absolutely unbelievable. Um, any Montreal fan I know will have a little bit of a, a soft spot for him in their heart. Um, one of the reasons, one of the only reasons I really enjoyed cheering for Montreal in 2009, 2010. Actually no, he was gone by 2010. He was already gone to Ottawa. Uh, 2007, 2008, 2009. Uh, those were the years that I really liked him. That line with Kovalev, Kostitsin, and Plakanitz was one of my favorites. And I wish he would have had a more successful stint with the Panthers, but he didn't. Um, but he played a long time after that. He just became the GM of a team in Switzerland uh, in their secondary league. And yeah, he'll probably try to make another comeback at some point because... He said he wanted to play forever. Uh, number nine, just retired. Um, he was on my favorite current list until this past offseason when he retired. Uh, Radim Verbata. 
I absolutely loved him as a coyote. Uh, I was sad when he went to Vancouver, but he had a great year there. I do want to get the All-Star uh, Verbata jersey from that year in Columbus. Um, didn't really have a good year with Florida this past year. I guess that's kind of, he knew it was time to, time to retire. I wish him nothing but the best and hope he enjoys his retirement. Number eight, Slava Kozlov. Uh, again, he was a player who kept playing a long time up until, I think two years ago, he just retired. Um, he left Atlanta before they moved to Winnipeg. Uh, he had a long career in the KHL after he left the NHL. Um, playing for Spartak Moscow, um, Togliati, and some other team I can't remember. Uh, but he left his KHL team to go play in the alumni game uh, in Detroit. And he was the only player who was still currently active on a roster, um, which was kind of cool, I thought. Uh, but yeah, he, he is just one of my all-time favorites. Uh, how good he was in shootouts is just very, very underrated. And I'm super happy that I have a Kozlov uh, Thrasher's jersey. Moving on, number six. Oh, sorry, seven. Jeez, I keep jumping ahead of me. Uh, number seven, Michael Hanzus. He was also another player that I absolutely hated when he played for Chicago. Uh, and then he went to L.A. And again, it was one of those things where I pretty much instantly liked him when he went to L.A. I was really thinking he was going to get a Stanley Cup with L.A. Uh, he didn't. He went to San Jose, had a decent career uh, span in San Jose. And then he went to Chicago and finally won a Stanley Cup with them in 2013. Yeah, he was there in 2013. Uh, and then he retired. Um, I did like him. I remember him briefly as a Phoenix Coyote before he went to Chicago. Don't really remember him in St. Louis at all. Like I said, I absolutely hated him in Chicago. I don't know what it was, but I hated him. I absolutely hated him. Uh, but instantly became very, very likable when he went to LA. Um, I loved his stick. He had a very unique curve, and I absolutely tried to mimic his curve. He has like a very kind of square toe almost. Uh, very, very good on faceoffs. Very big, strong forward. Uh, something I'll never be. Moving on, number six, Pavel Bure. Uh, the Russian Rocket, I absolutely loved him as a Panther and I absolutely loved him as a Ranger even though it was very short-lived and he retired very quickly because of injuries. Uh, one of the best goal scorers I've ever seen and I didn't really even see him in Vancouver that much. I was really young when he was a Canuck. Um, and I didn't like the Canucks so I didn't really pay attention to him. But I did actually order a Florida Panthers jersey off eBay for $8. Uh, it's the one that he would have wore uh, with the C on his jersey. Uh, so if I get that, I will probably immediately send that one out to get customized with Beret on it. Uh, for $8, I don't know what kind of condition it's going to be in. So I'll see when I get it. Um, but I'm super excited to maybe have a Panthers and a Rangers Beret jersey. Number five, Brett Hall. Uh, I know Buffalo fans will hate me for this, but I absolutely love Brett Hall. Uh, an absolutely deadly one-timer. Very Stamkos and Ovechkin-like. Uh, one of the best goal scorers of all time. I um, absolutely loved him in Dallas. I loved him when he wore number 22. I did like 16. I wore 16 briefly as well. Uh, Brett Hall would have been the reason behind that. And one of the last, like... I, I don't know, I just really liked him. His time in Detroit was really sweet. And his last stop in Phoenix, while it was short, was really cool to see. Uh, moving on, number four, Peter Nedved. I have a Rangers Peter Nedved jersey. I absolutely loved him in Pittsburgh. Uh, loved him as a Coyote. Hated that he was an Oiler. And was super sad to see him not get on the team uh, when he tried to make his comeback with the Rangers in 2007. Uh, I thought he was one of their best players for throughout that preseason. Fortunately, he wasn't good enough to get on a contract for that year. Uh, but he played a long time, a long, long time, actually. Uh, just retired. And after Yager left the Flames, um, 
and went back to the uh, Czech League. Nedved came out of retirement just to play in the first game of Yager's return to the Czech League. And he was pretty much the star of the game. Uh, he dominated that game from the highlights that I saw. Uh, so he's also kind of like Kovalev. I wouldn't be surprised to see him try to make a comeback at 60 years old. Uh, number three, Alex Tange. Uh, it's one of the best memories I have was the 2001 Stanley Cup Final with him getting two goals. I was super excited to see him come to Calgary. I loved him as an avalanche. I thought he had a decent year with Montreal if it wasn't for injuries. Uh, brief stop in Tampa Bay, very kind of forgettable. Went back to Calgary, uh, went back to Colorado. Finished his career with the Coyotes. It was a very short term uh, with the Coyotes and just retired about two years ago now. And he's definitely, definitely, I'm, I'm so surprised I don't have a Tangay jersey. Uh, I will definitely try to fix that at some point. Uh, but yeah, he is well deserved at this number three spot. Uh, number two, in my opinion, the greatest player of all time, uh, Mario Lemieux. Uh, growing up, he was my favorite player as a kid. Um, and uh, fortunately, I didn't get to see a, most of his career due to injuries, retirement, and just not being born. Uh, he was still playing a few years well before I was ever born. Um, but he's, I think he's the greatest player of all time. Uh, I know pretty much every single Oilers fan will, you know, disagree with me on that, and that's fine, but I think... There's really not even any question. He, the way he played the game was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, it's just a big, skilled power forward that was so much fun to watch. Uh, moving on to number one. Um, him and Mario were always kind of neck and neck for my favorite player. Uh, Paul Correa. Just got inducted in the Hall of Fame this past year with Solani. Um, I remember probably a good 90% of his career. I was very young when he would have came into the league. Uh, but his time with Anaheim, that goal in 2003, after getting like just murdered by Scott Stevens, to this day I still get goosebumps watching that. Um, I was really thinking he was going to win a cup with Peter Forsberg in Nashville. Didn't happen. They got destroyed by San Jose. Uh, Injuries in St. Louis kind of derailed, derailed his career. Uh, he had an off year in Colorado. I do have a few Korea jerseys. I do want to get the Nashville one and a Colorado one. Get all four for all his teams. Um, but yeah, he was probably one of my favorite players right up until about the time he retired, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so Paul Korea is at number one. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, this was part two of three of my favorite players. Um, European ones are in the books, uh, retired players are in the books, and up next I'll be doing current players. Uh, don't have a lot else to say. Uh, thank you for watching. You guys can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you again in the next video. I'll try to get that up right away. And remember, I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers and I will be giving away a jersey here. Uh, so thanks for watching and I will see you again.